Hi everyone, welcome back into My Chamber TV, the heartbeat of the Tampa Bay community. I have to tell you, this is going to be a great segment because we happen to have one of the youngest persons to give back in the community and I'm very excited. I'm Barbara Marvel, with me is Paul Friedlander and to Paul's right happens to be his lovely little granddaughter, Adalia Friedlander. <laughs> Welcome into the show my dear. Thank you so much. And Becky Bennett. Becky is not unfamiliar to our show. She's been on several times and you do wonders in the community with yes. Costco Kids First and, and so much more. It's yes. just really amazing. But I'm going to turn this show over to you guys and you know even more what's been going on but as as a result of a class project, you're in the gifted program, right? Yes. And what grade are you in? Fourth. Fourth. So can you tell us about this class project? Um, well, it's called the Project of Fourth, and the whole entire project is most likely about um, helping our community in some way. And um, I chose this Project of Fourth because I have such a big passion for helping kids and I thought it would just make a great fit for me. Well, it sounds like it. My, she's got her ex so together. Yes, she does. <laughs> what do you think, Becky? I, well, when um, Paul called me and said, you know, Dahlia's going to do this project, and she was thinking about um, gathering some clothes or what type of needs do you have at Pasco Kids First, um, we said, sure, we, you know, we always can use children's clothes. Um, but then I guess she heard about our Celebrate the Silver Lining event and um, wanted to take it one step farther and become a sponsor. So um, she said, I have a goal to raise $250. And she ended up raising 255 plus another 250 and then it got matched. So she ended up raising over 700 and some dollars for the event and it was just really special. Look at her smiling from <laughs> ear to ear. Congratulations. Thank you. That is so beautiful. And learning how to give back at such a young age your grandma and grandpa obviously set an example quite an example right gramps something like that something yeah. like that <laughs> something like you that you must be really proud we are and it was it what a, to, to backtrack it for a minute we um we were going to pam and i were going to become 250 dollars sponsors of the event and so i said to pam why don't we do it in honor of a diet because we knew about her class project she hadn't really decided yet what she was going to do and um she got right on board. We were going to say, you know, you raise enough money to pay for the ticket part of it, which was $75, and had a fellow Rotarian offer to match it. She ended up raising $305 plus the $250 we had, and then Barry matched it with another $305. So she did a rocking good job. And did you have fun that night? Yes, a lot. <laughs> Tell us about it. Um, well, I actually got called up on stage, and I was honored with a Pandora charm. Wow. Yeah. How fun is that? Becky, she looked like a princess. I'm I mean, sure. She, she's gorgeous. Everyone wanted to take pictures with her. Tammy Fields, uh, you know, was our celebrity MC. Jim Jim. Yep, yes. she was there. Um, had her picture with her. She presented her with a Pandora bead. The charm is actually a silver lining charm. So, uh, you know, it went Special, well with yeah. the with the theme of the event. And she um, she got her picture taken with King Pithlin, Queen Chasco. Oh, how fun. And Queen Chasco let her wear the crown. Mm -hmm. Oh, did she? Angel Cook. <laughs> that would be Angel Cook yeah. and Kim Bogart. And yeah. Becky, you know, and I know you've been on before, but refresh everybody about what Pasco Kids First Please does. Please do. Sure, yes. Pasco Kids First, we've been uh, around in Pasco County for 27 years and Hernando County for 10 years. And all of our services are focused around child abuse and neglect. So we have our Children's Advocacy Center, which is on Little Road um, in Newport Ritchie and we um, basically anytime there's an abuse report that comes in those reports come to our agency and then the sheriff's office uh, child protection investigators brings the kids to the Children's Advocacy Center and we have doctors and nurse practitioners that will do the medical exams on the kids um, and then we have child protection specialists that interview the kids and find out what was happening, what the, the allegation was, um, mm -hmm. they write up the reports and then give it back to the sheriff's office to um, determine if there was abuse or neglect. And if there was a finding of abuse or neglect, we also have our trauma treatment team. And so those are therapists that work with kids that have been sexually abused, physically abused, um, emotionally, and witnessed any type of traumatic event. They're mm -hmm. trauma therapists. So mm -hmm. um, in Pasco County, there's been a, a lot of um, really bad um, stories where children had witnessed um, murders and 
other types of you know horrible events and fire house fires and stuff those kids come to Pasco kids first to receive that treatment Wow. It's a great organization. Wow. It's a wonderful organization. I ran, I guess it's been three years ago now, four years ago actually, for the honorary governor and Pasco Kids First was Cherry of Choice and it was just some events and the kids are just, they're just such a wonderful yes. group of parents and kids and they have, they have what they call resource moms that actually go out to the home with a, with a lesson plan and I went out with one and they talk about, you know, what was good this week for you, what was mm -hmm. bad this week, what challenges did you have? Um, so it is. A, it's a. It's an awesome organization. It was. It was real easy for Dolly to fall into that for her project of war. She did a, a phenomenal. Uh, she did both a board and a scrapbook for it. Yeah. For her project, but more importantly, Dolly, you've um, you've done some other things. Talk about the. What did you get? You guys just. You did a fundraiser at school for. You did a car wash that you got put. Yes. Together. Talk about some of the stuff you've done on your own with your friends. Um, well, I've done two projects of worth in the past, and my very first one that I did was a cancer run. We got to run around this big park, and um, my second one was Shiner's Hospital, which I donated plush toys to them. Oh, I and love Shiner's Hospital. <laughs> Awesome. And, then, and then how did what, what how did the car wash come about? Because that was one of your brainchild with a friend of yours, right? Mm -hmm. Well, I actually didn't get to make it, but uh, I heard a lot of great things about it. They raised uh, two hundred and eighty dollars, oh. and it was at my school, Arizona Elementary. She's something else. She and I, I heard uh, your grandma told me earlier about the plush toy drive. That was your last year's project. Yeah. And you got to go to Shriners and they gave you a tour. Yes, they did. Really? Yeah, and, a, and a certificate. Oh my goodness, That's how much. exciting. And, and he let you wear his hat too, didn't he? You got to wear one of the Shriners yes. hats. <laughs> wow. So so it's. do you think you're going to keep keep volunteering and, and staying in in this uh, yes yes that was a, a firm yes well she's such a role model for other kids i mean and exactly and i'm so glad that you mentioned that yeah. our kids today really do need other kids other kids as role models as mentors and to set the example i mean we as adults moms dads grandparents and everything but to see another child their peers doing something good in the community mm -hmm. as opposed to the opposite God bless you. You are just a sweetheart. Thank so you. So I bet your mind is already churning on what's coming up next for you. Yes, it you, is. Are you able to talk about it yet? No. No, it's okay. <laughs> Summer break. We'll, we'll just we'll just have to have you back when you're when you're ready, right? Mm-hmm. Well, that is wonderful. Well, we have about three minutes remaining. What else can we talk about, Pasco Kids first? Because. I remember when I first met you, and it's been over three years. That's, that was yeah, I that think was that, the first time was with yeah. Yes, that was the first thing you talked about when you came on my chamber TV. Yep. And Tina, yeah. I think Tina and I both came on. She was yes. Tina was with Farrell was doing um, the Good Samaritan Clinic. That, and I was that's doing right. Pasco Kids first. Yes, yes, yes. So I I got to tell you, it's it is really truly a phenomenal organization. It's an ongoing, um, it's an ongoing passion of theirs but it's, unfortunately it's also an ongoing challenge in, the, yes, in our community of, of course and without agencies like this without people like Becky and Rick Hess and gosh the staff over there is just it's just absolutely wonderful um, mm -hmm. you know I've watched honorary governors get up and, and put all their stuff together by themselves and work and um, and I've watched agencies that were the beneficiary of it have no problem taking the money Right. This was an agency that not only didn't they have trouble taking the money, <laughs> but they earned every dime of it and sure. then some because sure. everybody pitched in and they, it's just, I, you know, it's from the leadership down, from Becky and Rick down, it's just, uh, I, I, you probably can add yeah. some more about it, but I mean, it's, it, they're constantly just doing wonderful things in the community as we've heard from, you know, all different directions today yes. with the Early Learning yes. Coalition, but yes. what else do you guys well, have Well, with the program on, that you were talking about a little bit ago, the Healthy Families Program, that's our prevention program. So not only do we have the Children's Advocacy Center that provides the um, assessment and the treatment, we have a prevention program for families who are at risk um, and therefore families who are pregnant who have new or have a newborn under three months old. 
um, and we the resource moms go into the home teaching parenting skills how to um, bond with their babies um, and once they're in the program they can stay till they're five years old so we oh. basically sort of hand off the child to the kindergarten teachers um, and it's a tremendous success 98 percent of the kids that are in our program um, our healthy families program they're free from abuse um, during the services and a year after which is more than the non at-risk population isn't that those are fabulous stats and they actually you. graduated when they're five oh. from the program mm -hmm. that, yeah they can graduate between three to five years um, it's voluntary so there are families that you know, want the extra help, want to learn more about um, parenting and being the best parents they can be. That's so yeah. fabulous. And you've been with the program for how long? I've been with Pasco Kids First for 10 years. For 10 yeah. years. You're really dedicated. Well, I had absolutely no idea what was going on right in my own backyard until I started doing this show. And thanks to you. And now they've gotten me involved because I, I just. I want to help any way I possibly can, and here at Tampa Bay Multimedia on WeBeam TV, we raise the awareness. Look, I'm getting all teary-eyed here. But you guys are so amazing in what you do in the community, and to have a Dahlia, 10 Absolutely. years old, are you kidding me? I mean, raising all this money and everything, and you already know where you're going next. Thank you so much for coming on the show. You're welcome. I really appreciate it. And, you guys and, are great. And I'm going to thank you as a proud grandpa, but I'm going to thank you as co-hosting with this for as Barbara said earlier, for setting an example that a 10-year-old, 9-year-old, 8-year-old can do something for their community too. We appreciate that. Thank I you. think it's fabulous. Thank you. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we're going to talk with Paul and more things that are coming up with West Pasco.